Hi everybody, I'm here again doing some collaging for my Art Mythos art journal. Um, I am working on week 40 and I have the first few pages here to show you. So this is day one of week 40. It's horizontal format. Um, this is D2, not exactly, I mean, de definitely black and white. I have some metallic going on similarly with here, like here. Um, this is number three, day three. I went off the page and I didn't want to cut that off, so I thought I like this little bit of character here. I guess I could have used it over on the other side, but I like it the way it is, and I decided to just keep it as it was and not trim the edges. I was thinking that maybe at another point in time, if I really if I wanted to, I could use it as inspiration for another piece and maybe put it on a larger background um and mount it on just a larger background that would contrast but that's just a thought so i decided to keep it and um maybe something else will come of it so these are my potential backgrounds for the next four pieces um i don't know which ones i'll use but I'm wanting to use at least a few of them. So, um, so I'm gonna get started. I will set these guys aside. I also have a few different little things already kind of cut. So I have some just different kind, kinds of papers. Here are some edgings that I've trimmed from other papers. Um, I have some ink blotted papers and still my ink blots. Um, I still have them from a couple weeks ago. I've only used a few. I have these butterflies pre-cut. It was taking me a while to cut them while I was collaging, so I decided to pre-cut them. So here they are waiting to be used. And I have some other backgrounds as well that I could maybe layer in with these backgrounds here, but we'll see what I use. So we're just going to try and jump in and get started. I, I like this one since I have this one out, so I will start with this, this piece that has some gold in it. Um, this is really, um, blurry, so I may cover it up here, um, with something. So, trying not to think of anything too much. Try not to overthink things too much. Think. I like, I like this area, so I'll see how it works. This might work better. So we will see. If I will use this or not. I feel like that might work.
try not to think about this too much. Um, I think I'm just going to put it down. Just go for it. Sorry about my voice. It's, I don't know what's going on with my voice, but I will try and keep it, keep it clear. I have some water here to the side. So I'm just going to tack that down really loosely because I have the idea that I want to actually like it like that. But I have the idea that I want to bring in some of this gold. And I'm not sure. I have a little piece of this washi tape, so maybe I will line it here, but maybe that's too, maybe that's too clean. I don't know. Let's see. I'll try it. Um, kind of like it. Um, I think I'm going to do my technique where I use, I don't know if it's a technique, but I'm going to add some gold leafing. And here is a piece over here that I have over on the other side of the camera sitting ready to use. So I think I'm going to um, just glue this down. I'm working really hard not to, I mean, I've said this every video, but I really do work on it that I don't want to think too much about things. So I'm going to put some of this down and then lift it off, tear it away. I may, no, this should work. I was thinking I may have left it on too long, but I think it'll work. There we go. I think I did leave it on a little too long, but just rub it off. It. I'm going to see about how much more I can put here. Already dry by the time I got there with the gold, so. pretty quickly. There it came off. That's okay. I'll just add some more. I feel like I'm being really rough with the materials, but maybe not. covered up, but I don't know if I need any more. Maybe a tiny bit over here. And pick this piece up. Okay, I think that's enough. Um, kind of not really excited about this little piece right here sticking out and now it kind of sticks out more but that's okay. 
for me, that's better. And I think, I think, I don't know, maybe a little bit up here, a little bit of gold. I like the gold. I like how it looks. Um, I'm just peeling and breaking off. There is um, a woman on Instagram that I follow. I think her name, she goes by the Kate Edit or Kate Edit. And I really love her form of decorating, home, home decorating, home fashion. I don't know, home decorating. She's got this, she has this thing about black and white, using black and white in her home, and I really love it. And um, what she also does is she, you know, so I think at one point, from what I understand, she painted most of her home black. And um, I mean, she had accents in white, and um, she has all kinds of really great, um, items throughout her house. Um, but she, but I really admire her style. And what she does is she does a lot of, um, she does a lot of black and white and she has a lot of this gold peeling effect on her walls. So I really like it. And so that's kind of what I'm, trying to um, create as well. I'm just trying to balance out the gold. I know there's a lot of gold on here, but I just wanted to make this area not so plain. So I think that's it. I think this is finished for now. Um, I'm not sure how much time I have on this video. And I think I'm going to leave this um, kind of up a little bit. I want to do one more really quick one, really quick collage because I feel like it's a good exercise for me to just try and do two quick ones, even though this wasn't super quick. It was, I tried to make it quick. So I'm going to try another one. So that's number four. And let's see. I'm going to choose another background out of the, maybe this one has a little bit less. And I really like this, so I'm going to try and incorporate that. I know it's a lot of black and white, but I mean, this is silver. This is silver paint. I used a Tyvek stencil that I cut. I got inspiration from, for the shapes from, I think it was... I don't even remember. Um, a lot of times I use um, napkin patterns or uh, different things as um, different patterns that I find that I like, fabric patterns, and I'll photocopy them and create a Tyvek stencil out of it. So that was this. I got inspired by it. another pattern used in a different way. And I created a stencil and I use them on my jelly print. So basically this is a jelly print on black paper with silver paint, silver and gold, a little bit of gold or whatever was left on the plate from previous, um, from previous sessions, um, was left on and, and rubbed off. Um, feel like, no. I feel like there has to, it has to be something organic. So I have this, I'm gonna see if I can work it in. If I can't, that's okay. I'm gonna try and be real quick about it, even though I have all this pre-cut stuff to the left of me. And of course I'm choosing this thing that I have to take time to cut. That's okay. 
that I might not even use, but that's okay. Sometimes I feel a little like messy when I do these, but um, I try not to, I try to just say, okay, I'm feeling like a little messy, but, and then I just go with it because it's a real practice for me not to have everything perfect and spend too much time um, and then look back at the work maybe a day or two later or some weeks later and then, you know, realize that I do appreciate it or I do appreciate how it turned out. So I'm not sure about that, but maybe something with gold in it. I don't know about this one. These are going to work, but too dark. This one was better, but I think a little bit too small. I like it, but I think it's a little bit too small. How about this one? Maybe. I don't know if this is going to work out. So I'm just going to finish it because I don't want to worry about it too much. And wait, I think this was a darker side, a lighter side. So switch sides, even though now it looks like it's going to glue to my finger. I hope that, yeah. Okay, here's the darker side up. And it's going to get a little wrinkled. It's tissue paper, so but that's okay. Uneven, maybe that. Maybe that. Nope. Maybe back to where I had it. I'm just going to put it down. Thank you. 
I feel like I want to do my little gold flex with the gold leaf paper. So I'm going to grab a little bit here before, hopefully before it dries. If it dries, it's okay, I'll just put one. would be okay if we picked up some of this that's there. Didn't pick up too much. Let me get a little bit more here. Oops. Don't want too much on there. And we call that one done. And so now I have I have my it's a little messy here, but it's okay. I have my four, five, three, two, one, and I have two to go to finish my week of my um week forty of collage. So I will see you next time with days six and seven. Thank you for joining me.